for the next question, question six, it's about area and volume. So in your tables, these tables here, you go to page nine, I think it is. No, ten. Okay. Go to page ten. No, go to page nine. Okay, go to page nine, length and area. Okay, and what you need to do for this question is you need to find number one, the area of square. Now, it's not going to tell you how to get that, it expects you to know that the area of the square is that side by that side, which is 10 by 10, because the square, if that side is 10, that side is also 10, because all squares, the four sides are the same, which is 100, or 10 squared. Okay, so the sides are given, square it, and you have your area of your square. Very simple. If it was a rectangle, it would be that side by that side, and they'd have to give you the two sides in a rectangle. If it's a square, they'll only give you one side because you just need to square the side you're given. And that's your area of your square, is 100 centimetres squared. Next thing you have to do is get the chunk that's taken out. The chunk that, that's taken out is a quarter circle. Okay? Now, why that's important to know is that a circle has 360 <coughs> degrees. So a quarter of a circle has 90 degrees. So that angle there is 90 degrees. So the first thing to do is work out what angle you have at the top. I am quite confident that in foundation level, it will always be 90 degrees.